Hello, entrepreneurs. I thought, let me just um, come and talk to you. <laughs> I'm a bit concerned, but let me <laughs> uh, try to get to this uh, um, uh, problem. Some of you have started and you are working very hard and I understand these problems. I understand that uh, there's electricity issue, then there is a data problem. But I just wanna say to you, you gotta need to do this no matter what. Uh, you gotta need to understand that when you have made a commitment to yourself that you know what, I wanna improve the following, I wanna do this, I wanna do this. You should have a mindset of declaring a war, a war against the previous self and your ability to overcome the things that you have. The moment you come into something new, something different, something that grows you, there will be things that are gonna attack you. There will be things, there will be problems, there will be practically all the reasons of not doing something or a reason of not changing things. I've been receiving uh, love letters, SMSs, some is emails. It's precious, someone died, I have to go to this place. She's precious, my child is sick. She's precious, I'm actually in hospital. She's precious, you know, I have a whole list, <laughs> a huge list of all the reasons why you're not doing the work, <laughs> you know? You, you're gonna need to put yourself in a position of saying, you know what? I'm gonna become the person who does it no matter what. I'm gonna do it in spite of. Let that challenge be, I will do it in spite of my cousin dying, my child sick, this. Because when you take that thing, that story to be the reason why you can't do your part, then that's a story you're gonna actually be stuck with for a long time. And even when that happens, let's just say, yes, you found out that your cousin died or uh, your child is sick. As you are sitting with your child and your child is sleeping, you could be reading from your phone or from your, your iPad or from your laptop. Everything has to do with your mindset. What are you telling your mind? I, I want you to say to you, you gotta be the person who will say, I choose the future me, the best future me than the current, than the current state. Because if I don't do anything about my current state, nothing is gonna change. Stop entertaining the story, the reasons why you can't do this. Hey, ESCOM has done us good, eh? Yes, we know, but we have a recording. We, if you are ahead of the schedule, you can go and get the recording. If you can't find a recording, you can DM me or Denise and say, I want a recording for this and this. I don't wanna miss the session. And whatever obstacle or challenge that you have, you're gonna be bigger than it. Right now, you are not being bigger than it. The story is bigger than you. But when I start listening to the stories and, and it's a lot of stories, I'm then realizing you're letting anything just stop you, anything. The world can throw in even a little stone. You will say, you know what? I'm gonna do the work tomorrow. Guess what? There's no such thing as tomorrow. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You only guaranteed today because today you woke up. I also just wanna say, each time you decide to postpone, you are also postponing your goal and your future. And then you wonder why you are not achieving your goals. You wonder why you are not where you're supposed to be. And you start looking at other people and say, but so-and-so did it. No, you joined the program. 
you, you started doing the work and then challenges came. Challenges were above you, were bigger than you. You got to need to build yourself up to be above the, to be above the, pro the problems. And how you do that, you basically going to need to get some motivation. You're going to also get your mindset right. Do you really want this? Are you treating this as a hobby? Oh, your, your success was incidental. Because that's another thing. Other entrepreneurs, your success was really incidental. It's purely by an opportunity that just landed. Amaj was like, ah, ah, they're really working very hard for you to have this money. But guess what? You will not keep that money. You will not keep that. Um, maybe you might keep it at your level in terms of your generation, but let me say, your children will not keep it because you are not getting the lesson. You, you think this is just, oh, some other time, I'm gonna do it some other time and all that. Uh, yes, there's electricity problem. Yes, they, you have other deadlines, you have clients. Just do it. Be the person who say, I'm going to get it done. Uh, my name is getting it done. I'm going to go through it and just read it. Yes, you might not actually find that you may not even have that or you've ran out. Just do it. Do what is possible. Find a place where you can download. Ask people around who have lots of, there's lots of people who don't use their that. Ask, but put whatever resources to get it done because if you don't, you think last two years have been horrible, the next 10, the next five are actually gonna be worse because you are wasting this opportunity that has been given to you. And by the way, I am not planning to run this program to me because I cannot have my life hanging on people that do not realize it's all in your head. Whatever that you are feeding your mind is the reason that is holding you back and you not acting on what you have committed to. And you let everything just be the reasons why. And you carry that story so much, it almost like the story is more important than what needed to be done. No more, don't send me uh, uh, your excuses. And I do understand, so some of you is really pure from out of respect, which I do understand, but I don't want your respect. I want you to do your work. You go through the material, you ask the question in class, you prepare, you go through the, the videos, you send me the question, you show me what you have worked on. I don't mind, but I need the assignment because TUT needs a portfolio of evidence. And I can't just sign certificates without having your portfolio of evidence. So anyway, I hope I should do this short video just for you. For those who have been sending me your love letters and your respect letters, I don't care about your respect and your comments and stuff. I will listen to it. I'm a human being. But what is important is, is you saying no matter what. Our, actually, it should be your stories. I was at the funeral of my cousin. While they were talking stories, I was busy on my phone working through the material. That's the story I want to hear. Not the story that I stopped doing what I needed to do because I had this incident. You're, you're, not, you're not that special that actually all these things that happen in people's life is bigger than you just taking control of it. It's also indication that you don't think there's a lot of things that are within your control. Let me tell you something. The world can go apart and fall apart. What you telling yourself here and what is in your heart should be the one, should be the thing that control you, not what is happening around. Uh, maybe you're at the funeral right now, I'm sorry about your relative or you are wherever where the life has thrown you. You're not gonna let the life throw you into pieces to your vision, to your best self. Because if you don't, you will then never meet the real potential that you are, the real best of the best. And good luck. Thank you so much. Bye.